to a brand new video and in today's video we are reacting to video shows gas station clerk staging robbery for 5,000 getting busted by police cops okay police are cops but either way I think this is very dumb but like if you want to stage a robbery you should go higher but without further ado let's get right into it security video captures what looks to be a Georgia cashier being held up by an armed robber by the way, I'm not a thief. Hold on, let me, let me, hold on, let me clarify that. But when I say go higher, I'm not saying I would go higher, but I'm just saying for 5K, come on, you can do better. But police say the whole thing was fake, and the duo staged the armed by. Did he just. Wait, did he punch you? Did that, did that even connect? Look robber. at this. But police Look right here, right here. Ready? The whole thing was fake. He punched and the duo staged the armed robbery and stole nah. $5,000 <laughs> nah. from the register. The incident happened in January at a Duluth, Georgia Shell gas station. Surveillance video from January 20th shows the cashier who was later identified as Raj Patel behind the register. He then walks over toward the cash register, opens it up and takes a stack of bills. Then a man in a black hoodie is seen charging toward Patel before throwing what looks to be a punch. It's unclear if the robber's fist that punch definitely didn't connect. Like, bro, if you want to steal $5,000, the least you can do is get punched for it. That, that's the least. Bro, come here. Beat my... I would literally tell my homie, beat the fuck out of me, then take the fight. Beat the fuck out of me, then take it. Bro, you got to make it seem like, what is this? Bro, come on, It's actually connected to Patel's face. Buddy collapses to the floor, then the suspect takes off. Patel's co-worker found him on the ground where he supposedly regained his conscious before getting up. Then within minutes of the first apparent robbery, a second supposed robbery occurs. But this time, Patel is seen holding his... Chat. A second one? Chat. A second one. As the robber scrounges through the register before making off with the cash. Once police respond to the scene, body cam video captures the officer asking Patel what happened. Hey, you all right? You good? You need med? You need an ambulance? He was laying on the floor. They punched him in the face. They hit you in the face? Hey, what, I need a description. I was getting up the description. Hey, bud. Hey, I need a description. Where did he go? He, he came first time, uh, like uh, 30 minutes. Like, uh, what, what, was his, what did he look like? Give me a description. What was he wearing? He, he was wearing black hoodie. Colorado. Black hoodie? Yeah. All right. He had it up? Yeah. Black hoodie, pants? He was wearing pants? a mask and everything. I couldn't mask, see. black hoodie, mask. All I can see is his eyes. Like. I can't tell if he seems scared that the cop is not going to buy his story or if, if he's nervous. Like, I don't know if that's good acting or not. I, I really don't know if that's good acting or if he's actually like that's it. scared right. of Black the cop. Black hoodie, mask. What, do you remember what pants? No. No shoes? No. All right. Black male, so Hispanic. I was like backed up over there. White guy. I'm not sure he was wearing gloves and he was completely covered. He, okay. When asked if the robber had any weapons, Patel said he had a knife. 10-4-B advised he does have a knife. Uh, he doesn't know if he has a gun on him or not, but he said he had a bulge he in his pants. He didn't have no knife. But that's your homie. You right. trying to get your homie yeah, on the spot? Hold on. I'm not authorized for video, sir, because I just work here. My uh, man is probably being sleeping right now. Yeah, that blocker, I promise, the, bro. You, 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 where's your manager? They, they're probably sleeping at home right now. All right, call them. She's on the phone with us. <laughs> Ma'am, do you work here? Yeah, she yeah. works here. Do you know how to pull these cameras up? No footage, no nothing like that. Did you see? You didn't see anything. I, I was Are you the one ten? Camera room is up. checking cameras at the moment. <sighs> All right, which way did he go? He ran out from that. He ran out the back door. We hear that. Boop, boop, yeah. Boop. He got out from there. Yo, he, imagine he's just jumping in the this back. Door, he's gonna find an yeah. exit. You've gone out this door? No. He ran out this door. Yeah. What goes? Where does this door lead? It's in my backyard. It goes to the back? Yeah. Once outside, that's when the officer encounters a man later identified by police as Danny Curtis. He who was actually he works nearby. At the no fucking way, Chad. Bro, 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 bro. They planned their robbery, and then the dude stays in the back. The dude stays in. No fucking way this is true right now. There's no way, bro. Hey, come out right now. He just went behind the dumpster. Wait, is that even him? You work here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Here. Right now, I don't give a f Come here. Yeah, he, works, works. he works here? Yeah. All right. He it's not him? No, no, no. He, All right. Do you not know what just happened? Okay. Yeah. I, I was about to say, bro, if it's him, like, what kind of plan did they have? But I guess he just works there. Oh, I'm trash All right. He just got robbed. I just got robbed. All right. Oh, 
So you, all right, my bad, all right, are you good? No, you good? All right. Yeah. All right, he works for you. Yeah. All right. All right, sorry. You get what I'm talking, all right, all right. You're good, you're good, I promise. That's why they call, okay, let me tell you guys why the cop is a little scared right now, because he just pulled a gun on someone who has nothing to do with it. That dude can easily go to court. I'm traumatized. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> All right. Hey, but some people actually do that Did you happen here, to see bro. somebody come running around they can't over get here? Any no, dollar I they can. Nothing. I ain't seen nothing. Nothing at all. I ain't seen nothing. I was pretty. Pretty. I was driving down to the truck drive. I promise you I didn't. Yeah. No? Yeah. I ain't seen nobody. I ain't about to freeze you finna get out and die. That's what I'm trying to do. Nothing at all? You didn't see anybody coming around with a black mask, black hoodie? I promise you that. I promise you that. Patel, in the meantime, continues to keep up with the charade. He tells the officer the managers shit? don't have access to share the surveillance video. He doesn't have access, access to it? No. Who has access to the cameras? He's calling someone. Okay. 166 radio. I'm going to... Oh, chat. How does the manager not have uh, access to the cameras? I just had, I know I'm pausing a lot, but I have to ask that question. How does he not have access to, like, bro, you're the manager, bro? Stay at the store for now. And look uh, how many cameras he got. Look at this. That's four, that's four, that's eight, that's 12, that's six. Bro, they have 60 cameras. Contacts the manager trying to get video cameras, footage bro. for us. I didn't know you had a worker out there. I heard noise coming from. You said he ran out the door. He just put the garbage out and he was fixing the garbage in there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm just making. I like. I heard noise and I saw movement and I was like, "There's yeah. somebody they, back there." You told me he ran out that door. They're both working here, like cleaning okay. and Okay. I, I While waiting for additional backup to arrive, Patel delves more into the robbery. I mean, the do show said he ran out there, but. I have a worker out there too right now, so don't don't, don't be mistaking my workers like that. Telling the officer he but was he robbed <laughs> twice by possibly two different robbers. And he hit you? He the first time he came, he hit me on my face. He snatched my ch uh, gold chain. Yeah, so he took a chain too. Yeah. All right. For, for, no, they, he came twice. The different guy. Came twice. Yeah. First first guy uh, punched me on the floor. There's two of them. No. Yeah, I think both were different people. There's two people. You got robbed by two people within yeah, a span of one. Yeah, not at the same time. Like, he came uh, came here first. He didn't rob nothing. He just snatched the tent, punched me, and ran away. And then after I called my, my employer, like, hey, this happened. And then I was knocked down. Not, I was, like, laying over here. She came, wake me up. And then after... She so, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It wasn't one person. It was two. There was two no, people. No, bro, no. bro, this cop is stupid, bro. Like... I get, I get he, his English is not that good, but what he's saying is he got up the first time and then another, after 30 minutes, another dude came in, which I'm pretty sure is the same dude because they're homies, they're playing this shit together. And he's like, oh, and they hear off me too. You got punched in the face by one person and right. he ran out. Yeah. Or where did the second one go? The, no, for, first time he came and he punched me. Okay, same person, two times. It's probably the same people, yeah. Was it but you wearing the same stuff? They, they're both wearing ho black hoodie. Black, the exact same black hoodie, black mask, black. everything. Yeah. Yeah. But first time... Uh, Alright, give me... Hold on, hold on. Bro, if I was a cop, my question would be... Why didn't you call the cops the first time? How come you called them the second time? I, I, you know what? Let, let, let's just see what happens. 166 the radio. Um, the uh, caller and the worker is saying that... The person ran in here, hit him in the face... Ran back know, out, Chad, and either the same person that. ran back into the same store, there, like, or oh, here, another person did it, and that's the person that robbed them. So, possibly two people. By this time, more officers have arrived to the scene. Do you know how much they took? Or how much was in the register? It's a whole day of money. I don't know, like how much. If we calculate, I would have an idea. It but doesn't calculate. The, no, the, in the bottom. Did they take the other drawer too. It, it was keys right here. Yeah, so they took that one too. They and took he couldn't open it at the first. I was trying to snap the knife, uh, but I didn't do anything. I was trying to go on him, and he took all the big bills from here. He took the big, big bills, bills, only yeah. the big bills. And he had gloves on? He had gloves and, yeah. Yo, yo, that dude fucked up, chat. That dude literally fucked up. He said he only took the big pills. Well, uh, if we go back here, hold on. We're, we're at seven minutes something. If we go back right about here, who... 
Dog took out the big surveillance bills. video from who January 20th bills? shows the cashier who was later identified as Ross Patel behind the register. Sure it's a big, he then walks over toward, toward the cash register, opens it up, and right takes there. a stack of bills. Then a man in a black happens. hoodie like, is seen okay, charging buddy. toward Patel okay, he before he throwing what looks to be I wonder why. I wonder why. Okay. Is that your wallet? No, like lost and found people. That's lost and found stuff? He dropped the hundred dollar free bill from here. All right, so a hundred dollar went to that one. You're not gonna know how much was taken unless I'll do an inventory. Hollywood, you hiring? Okay. okay. I think we I, I got more than three thousand. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, it was a whole day money in here. Whole day. Okay. That's all the cameras, though. Those. Yeah. Y'all see this camera right here? Look, look. When the cop is pointing at the cameras, cameras though, that game was really pointed right at them, bro. Like, this worker is just like, bro, how can you work at a place and plan yeah, a I horrible robbery oh, like this? Like, this should have been happened, the most perfect robbery so since you worked there, but instead, well, how long? you were unconscious. The worst. <laughs> yeah, bro. How long was that? But, like, she woke me up, the lady. 166 radio. Can you start me a signal like, for? What's your age? <laughs> she woke me up. Oh, I would have stayed knocked out. It hurt so bad, man. But uh, oh, she came and helped me. I think he was knocked unconscious when he was hit. And one of the bystanders had to wake him up. Yeah, I think. Whoever come, they did it for the first time because first time they didn't took the money, nothing. Yeah. They come for the money second time. The officer asked Patel for another description of the supposed robber's clothes. He reiterates the suspect was wearing gloves, a black hoodie, and black jeans, but that's all he saw. Then the officer takes down his information while Patel appears to be visibly shaken. My whole body is shaking. I know, buddy. It's the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. you pump. It's the adrenaline of, oh, am I going to get caught? Am I gonna get away with it? Me and my homie, I guess, put this in half, hell yeah. No, now it's gonna happen. Sorry, your pumping it. Yeah. Uh, now it's dumping it. Alright. And, and uh, it could be because you were unconscious too, so that's why. I like that cop, bro. He's, he, um, he's actually a good cop. He can we're gonna get an ambulance. This does not cost to, anything, okay? Shortly after, the officer on his radio that a man was seen in the parking lot wearing a black hoodie, and he goes to check it out. Hey, I got a. Possibly a black male wearing jeans and a black hoodie walking in the parking lot right here. Hey! 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 Come here! Right there! Come here! You turn around! Come here! Yo, that description is not a good description. Bro, I'm wearing a black hoodie right now. Shit. That's not a good description. Just because I'm wearing a black hoodie, that does not mean I'm a fucking uh, the suspect, uh, suspect, bro. Oh no, they roll down his ass deep. Hold on, what's going on? Come here! Hey! Put your phone down! Because he told you to, that's why. Put it down, you too, put it down. Put your phone down! Come here. Who are you? Come over here. Over here. Yeah. Who are you? I work for him. Hey. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a black dude from the trash can, bro. He's a worker, leaves that guy alone, and this guy is a Hispanic dude. Why are you sweating? I'm Oh, you think? No, no. Oh, yeah, I'll rub, I'll rub for him. Huh? Yeah. Not speak English. Oh, why are you sweating? Oh, you go. I'll rub for it's him. 19 degrees outside, and you're sweating. Uh uh, actually, come here. Turn around. Uh uh. Nope. Nope. You really suspect, bro. I feel bad for bro. He's like, I don't speak English. He's like, turn your ass around. Turn your ass around. That's what you get for your not speak English, buddy. You an American. You, you better get the gold learn chain that from? shit. I'm just joking. You don't have to speak. It took huh? me a minute to learn shit. Chain? Okay. Chain. No, no, no English. No English. This. Where did you get this? No. You take his chain? Yeah, the guy that uh, Robin took his chain. All right, look, right now you're being detained, all right? You're not under arrest, but you're being detained. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. These officers are dumb. Like, do you really think the criminal is going to stick by the crime scene? And, and on top of that, oh, 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 let me put that chain on so, so I can show the cops when they come. It's right here, buddy. I'm placing that chain. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's right here. The officer though. then cuffs what they nothing, believe right to be it's one like, of the no, robbers. Bro, I don't him. know if it's him, but he's saying that the guy took a gold chain from him. He's got a gold chain and he's sweating and it's like 17 degrees outside. Just show up. Yep. You keep him here? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. He said that the guy was wearing a mask, but 
Bro, can they get bro fucking a translator, bro? Hey, yeah. I feel bad for him. He's over here scared. I like, just want to take a break out of the there. What's going on? Look, Working here, we cover a lot of body cams, and we understand life can really throw anything at you. That's when when things go wrong, like a work injury, a car accident, maybe even a social security disability issue, you need someone who will fight for you. And that's why the team over at Pond Lee Hockey is known for turning the tables. Like, Yo, is is this is this a, a sponsorship, bro? I never see law and crime ever do a sponsorship. In your what favor. So they aren't just lawyers to recover on uh, an injured experience. So if you're three, or right? body cam. The one who hey, back hey, inside hey, the hey, QW. www.bondlehockey.com LC body cam. Dot got you. Not me. They, they, they got you though. But outside is not the one who robbed him. Oh, okay. He says he was taller than him. He said he was taller? Yeah. Okay. Taller and skinnier, yeah, but six, like, six, one, seven, seven. that other dude is a little chubby, you know, like, he looks right away. I mean, he didn't give him that description. Hey there. Hi. What's the name? Right. That's okay. Hi, I'm Spencer. Sam, huh? Sam, it's not going to be him. No. No. Yeah, he said he was taller than me. Taller. And he was very... Just get down, do this, do that. I don't think that guy speaks word English. Back to square one, police investigate the trash can where Danny Curtis... Hey, I'm happy for bro, bro. Like, imagine not knowing a word of English and you just get arrested and it's like, what's going on, bro? And they can't explain it to you. You can't even understand it. Like, nah, so bro, let bro go. During the robbery. When police question Danny again, that's when officers begin to notice the employee might be the suspect. Hey, buddy. Hey, do you have a key to the, uh, the oh, dumpster? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that key real quick. That was the key? The yeah. Yeah, just the dumpster. Right. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. What you got in your pocket there? Yeah. What's yeah. that? What's all that, that yeah. rustling around? We're, yeah. Hey, come here, Danny. Yeah, come here. Come here. No fucking way. Hold on. Hold on. Stop, this is Danny. getting good. Danny. Yeah. Stop. There's no way it was ever Stop. on. Stop. Stop. Look, okay. stop. Let go. Danny, Danny, listen. Stop. Danny, listen. Wait, so did the, was the other dude even in on this? Hey, I'm hey, confused hey, now. Hold on. Stop. I'm actually confused. Hold on. Stop. Listen. All right. Relax. Three, one, two. All right. Let him hold the phone. You got cash flowing out of your damn pocket. All right. When you're pulling the key out, just relax real quick, Danny. Just hang on. All right. Zero. Is that cash too? No, it's one. Zero six one. Nine two four. Look. Stop, Danny. Come here, Rod. Well, could you keep moving around, Danny? Danny, I'm not resisting. Look, listen, listen, listen. Bro, he's resisting. Okay. I'm not resisting. Come like on. You, you start. You start pulling stuff out of your pocket. You got cash falling out of your pocket. Come on. All right. Well, just hold on a second. All right. Look. Look. Talk to look him. Listen. Talk to him. We'll, we're gonna talk to him. But listen to me, okay? All right. In the video that we're seeing, it shows somebody going back to the dumpster. I want you to be honest with me. Yeah, I'm not working that. Be honest with me. No, because the person that's on video going to the dumpster, all right, is wearing all black. Did somebody go back there to that dumpster wearing all black? Did, did it? Uh, I, I ain't seen nobody. I ain't seen nobody did you, for real. Did you see Danny told the officer the cash was all his, but the officer begins to start poking holes in his story. Like I said in the video, all right, it shows somebody going in, mm -hmm. in the dumpster, okay? Uh-huh. All right, I went back there. You were back there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be All right, you're wearing the same thing right there, right? Okay. I'll, I'll but up. until then, like, you get what I mean? Like, you start reaching in your pocket and you pull your hand out and you got cash falling out of your pocket. Yeah, I got cash. Yeah. And they took a bunch of cash, okay? And you got a, I could tell that you got a, quite some cash in there. Yeah. All right. It, yeah, my pocket. Yeah. My All right. Pocket. So, be honest. I'm you know who did this? I work here every day. All right. I work here every day. You don't. You, you didn't see anything. You don't know anybody that could have done this or nothing like that. No, I promise you, I can't. No. All right. 
Why were you why are you fighting us like that, man? I was up there, I wasn't fighting. I wasn't oh, yeah, you were? No, I was yeah. just I wasn't fighting. I you were. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I wasn't you were. fighting. I wasn't fighting. Your story you ain't adding up, right. Danny. Your story Look, ain't adding up. Nobody bro. told well, you're not under arrest. Alright? You're being mm -hmm. detained. Yeah. Okay, because in the in the video, again, show somebody going back there. When I went back there, you were back there. Yeah, I was back there working. Okay. I promise you to ask her. So they go back there and they start looking around, they're not gonna find any any sort of ski mask, no black hoodies, no black nothing like that. No, I I guess no, hell no. What is that? Real estate patrol. For him. Yeah, so I don't I won't do that. Bro, I hope it's not him. He actually looks like a good guy, bro. I don't want it to be him. He actually looks like a good dude, bro. Danny told police he had a lot of cash on him because he works two jobs. But later, he also said he got the money from scratch-offs. But once officers look at their... Sur it's not even him, chat. He got dollar bills, bro. Valence footage from That's outside. That's like $10 they bills. They know Danny nice. went to the dumpster in a black hoodie, then later returned in a different hoodie. Minutes later, police take the cuffs off Danny because Patel... Bro, these cops are trying to go home ace to fucking app, bro. They're trying to just get, is, that's like the second or third dude they suspected already, bro. Like, chill out. Go find the suspects. Stop seeing anyone and be like, hey, it's you. Hey, no, it's you. Oh, no, no, no. Now it's this guy. Oh, no, it's me. Like, chill out. Do your drop collect correctly, then you can go home. I was God adamant damn, he couldn't have been the robber. Hmm? I was going to try and jam you up. If, they, if we got a handcuff, we got a handcuff. I know. I know. I, I understand. You know, I been to jail all night. But that's the second know. time they the apologized there, bro. Uh, the first time was when they pulled the gun out of his ass, and now they pull me handcuffs. Bro, hey, hey, Danny, keep up hey, Danny. Danny, bro. Hey, you're the twenty-dollar bill, your phone, and your lighters up over there. All right, buddy. You can go. Sure. You're good. Go ahead, man. Thank, Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Oh, those are LTS. So he, he, what is? He's not a percent positive. He says no. Nope, There's no way. Guys taller than him. All right. Voice. Danny's oblivious to most things anyway. Yeah, and I'll, the first time that I ever watched Danny get arrested, I was doing ride-alongs before I even went to the academy, so, yeah. yeah. He's, I mean, normally he's very docile. Um, yeah, he, I don't know he actually seems like a good dude. I don't want it to be him. He seems like a good dude, but... Danny walking around in the same general um, kind of pattern that you told us of them coming in the front coming out of the side. Yeah. Right. Okay? And from the video, it looks like he changed into something different in the dumpster, okay? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So... It, he doesn't have any money on him. We can't find anything back there. You say it's definitely, possibly not him. No, not him. For okay. Sure. Because I know, I know, we, we, like we work from last two months, so I know how he talk, how he acts. Yeah. Right. Later, after searching around the dumpster again, the officer begins to suspect Danny Curtis and the female gas station employee are in on the robbery together. I'm going to go look in like... What's going on here, bro? I, I'm feeling bad for my bro Danny, bro. How many times do they have to suspect him? Two words up inside. Watch it actually yeah, so end that's up where, yeah, I went in there. The only problem is, is like that, that one lady was all back in there too. So unless they're uh, in on it together, maybe. Huh? Unless they're in on it together. It's kind of odd that, you know, you're moving around. And, uh... But when the officer returns back to the gas station and questions her again, he notices she had a little bit of cash on her. Just going in my pocket. This ain't nothing but my socks. <laughs> and this. You got a little bit of cash in there? Oh, Is it your, your cash? cash? Yeah. I saw it in there. A dollar or two dollars? Is it a dollar or two? Yeah. yeah. What, is, what? What are you looking for? My pocket? My gloves? Yeah, your I gloves. I got the keys, my wallet. I'm a sir. My wallet. I ain't got no money. I no. need some money. I don't yeah. need none. I got about forty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> not nothing. I'm still. I mean, you I'm said you you were aware. Me from now. I'm fifty years old. Yeah. Where where were you at when all this happened again? I was in the back and in the and cooler. Where in yeah. the cooler? Yeah. I be mean, I when that when they get the beer, I try to keep my beer cooler stopped. I keep all this stopped. I keep everything. I was doing the thing and yeah. I, I had my. A little bit. Uh -huh. And when I came from the back, he was laying on the floor. I said, you want me to dial 911? He said, wait a minute, let me gather myself. And so, he dialed 911 when he sat there. I got him water, and he called 911. Okay. So, 
It kind of scared me. I was ready to yeah. go then. I was shaking because I always hear that noise and that noise beat. Bro, imagine they're all in now on it because now I'm really confused. But I really thought it was the first dude, then the second, now it's a woman. Like, who is it, bro? Who is it? It's always the beat. Or is it that yeah, Mexican dude that was just walking around? Like, something. bro, come on now. And then they said, no, it's not a beat, but it, it's crazy. They can't leave yet because they were here when it happened. So, well, she's got cash. They didn't want to pull everything out of her pocket. That's all. Did they actually suspect the woman? Well, Danny had a freezer. She went back into the freezer. She was moving stuff around back there. Walking back. She could have put the money somewhere in the freezer. You know that no one really knows since she works at freezer. She knows everything about it where stuff won't be looked at and stuff like that. So. Oh, this way? You can go this way through the... I did ask if, like, if there's any logo on the hoodie. If it was, could have been her hoodie or something like that. But he said it was a solid black hoodie and hers has a logo on the front. The officer searched the freezer again, but no cash was found. I find it odd that all that cash was... Yeah, there's literally like a million spots you can easily hide it. And, and, and look at the fucking uh, roof. Check yeah. this one. It's like all broken up. You can just hide that bitch in there. I'm not suspecting. I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm really not gonna suspect nobody anymore because these cops are doing a bad job, bro. Duluth PD says they attempted to contact the manager and the owner of the business, but were unable to reach anyone. According to the incident report, officers reported Patel had no visible marks or blood on him at the time. He was checked by emergency responders, but refused treatment. Days later, during a police interrogation, authorities told Danny Curtis they caught him red-handed. That's you. Okay? Mm -hmm. I could prove that's you. You see the hands? Mm -hmm. Okay? Look at your shoes. Okay? Look at your hands. Okay? Now, I see... I, you don't realize that there's a camera right outside the establishment, the city shit. camera that shows you going into the dumpster, coming back out in different clothing. God damn it, Chad. Danny Finesta, Chad. It was him all along, bro. It was actually no fucking okay. bro. Bro, he played, he played that stuff. Now, he can't lie. the question is, that this is, the, this is the question I'm going to ask you here. Depending on your answer, it's going to be whether you, you're going to be charged one, one crime or another. Curtis ended up coming clean about the whole ploy, saying Patel put him up to it. Was you was your intention to do this by yourself? No, it was staged. But the dude, it was staged. The dude, was that to me to the dude told you to do it. Fucking knew it, bro. They're all in on it. Even the goddamn woman, bro. My matter of fact, even the fucking cops are in on it at this point, bro. Watch. Watch. Okay. I wouldn't even be surprised. The dude that said he got robbed. Okay. Patel. Patel told you you got robbed, to to rob him. Yeah. Okay. It's a big it's a big change, right? Because if you if like you it. tell me, if you. I, I'm in here. You had all Yeah. I'm yeah, in he's here. in here, Mac. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. So Patel told you to do it both the times. The, the guy, the but, guy. Yeah, told me. the one, the one with the white. The, the, one, the one worked out with the glasses. The, with the glasses, Patel, Mr. Patel. Okay. Danny told the detective the female employee had nothing to do with the robbery and was Thank unaware God. the two were in on it together. As for why the conspiring pair carried out the robbery, Danny said Patel wanted to collect insurance money. He asked me. He asked me. He was. He was like. Is this Robert? Wait, you can get the insurance or something like that. Okay. Let's get it. Yeah. Okay, what happened to the money? Well, I, I don't know. Who you gave dumpster. it to? I threw it in the dumpster. You, I, did, I, 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 I didn't. You I, did not I, keep the money? No, I didn't. I was scared. I was too. 
I will be right back, chat. What the upstairs was that again, bro? What the fuck? He left the... There's, there's no way, bro. There, there's, there's, right? there's no okay. way. Yeah. What happened to the knife? There's no way. Knife? Five kids? What's you supposedly that you was holding a knife. The one he gave me, I don't know where that thing is. I throw it away. He threw it away. What happened to the Nike shoes? The Nike shoes or Nike? The Nike shoes you was wearing. Yo, this just got me thinking, bro. Imagine how much fucking drug dealers be throwing money in the trash, like if they're being chased, followed, or some shit. And then they can't go get it back, or they get shot and they never get it, bro. I might still go. Don't sit back, man. I'm sitting here. Hold on. Yeah, you changed shoes at I first. The first time when you snap, you when quote unquote you said you snatched his chain, which I know it wasn't true because he, the camera shows him taking it off. Okay. Where's the dirty the dirty shoes they used that night? You don't know that either. You don't know. Okay. You see how. You need to be. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why you did this to begin with. Yeah, no, there, there must have been a reason. Listen to me, Curtis. Yeah. Dan, listen to me very carefully, okay? You were telling me that you never kept any of the money, no, but yet, but yet he told you to do it. And so, if somebody tells you to jump off the roof, you're gonna jump off the roof. Oh, Are you? So then, there has to be explanation I, I to that. Yeah, I, I, it, it was. It was too much to try. Why do I feel like it? Danny's the type of dude who would actually do it. It's like, Danny, go jump off the roof. Peace. <laughs> it's like, bro, come on, Danny. You're growing so you ass, threw, man. He you threw everything go. away. The black it. shoes, the Nikes. All right, we recovered the Nike shoes. You left them in the dumpster, okay? Your DNA, your DNA like this officer was telling me, is on file. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on there. I can't lie, okay. Chad. Danny got us. So he staged it. Danny said Patel brought him home one day, and that's when he masterminded the plan. As for why Danny robbed the store the second time, he said it was because the first time didn't work. Police later placed Danny under arrest. He was charged with theft work, by even taking they and staged it and they worked felony. Them. Jail records reveal he is still being held behind bars in the Gwinnett County Jail. Meanwhile, Raj Patel has an active warrant out for his arrest. A Duluth PD spokesperson confirmed with me Patel was initially arrested for making false statements to police, but he later posted bond and was released from jail. Oh, However, damn. detectives obtained a new arrest warrant on a charge of conspiring to commit a felony. He still has an outstanding warrant for his arrest. Reporting for Law and Crime, hey, I'm Elizabeth Milner. Is he on the run? Hold on. All right, but without further ado, bro, I can't lie, bro. Danny got me, bro. Like, he really got me bad. I, I really didn't suspect oh, him. I thought he was this nice dude. But either way, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification, new video every day, bro. Peace.